now it is time to see some details about the module pi plot which is a module within the matplotlib it provides a comprehensive python library for creating static animated and interactive visualizations it provides a matlab like interface for creating and customizing interactively the basic plotting workflow is as follows first we import a pi plot and then we create the plot and finally display the plot so creating figure using pi plot import the matlab's pi plot module then create a figure add axis to the figure plot the axis customize the plot and finally display the figure so that's the whole thing we see as an example here we are importing uh, two libraries so matplotlib library and its module pyplot as plt and numpy as np then we create generate the sample data x axis 0 to 2 by 100 values and y value is uh, sign of x then we create a figure which is uh, a new figure is created fig which is uh, created using a, a pyplot function plt dot figure and to that we add an axis so here we are adding subplot one by one that means we just want to have the whole figure having a single plot so one row one column and first one that's what one comma one comma one is first one is about rows second one is about total number of columns and third one is a sequence number of the subplot so here we are plotting only one thing so we can just say one comma one comma one and then we say plot where to plot plot it ax so plot ax what to plot along x axis x value along y axis y value and then set the x labels y labels a title for the ax that is the axis we have created it's a single one so along x axis we write x axis along y axis we write y axis and title we put a sign function so till the year nothing will be seen on the screen on the screen the map or plot will appear only after this map plot show plt dot show is run so when we run this code we get the same graph as we got in the previous example but uh, so if we want to have multiple plots in the same screen then let's uh, create two functions x is common uh, 0 to 2 pi to there are 100 points y1 is a sine function y2 is a cos function now we are creating a figure of 2 by 2 uh, two uh, plots have to be plotted therefore let's use one row and two columns so we create a figure axis a axis is the axis which uh, talks about plt dot subplots one comma two one means number of rows two means number of columns so in all there will be two spaces created under fig two a axis value will be there so for first one a axis zero dot plot x comma y1 that means on x axis it is x on y axis it is y1 and this is for uh, axis 0 so for axis 0 set title as sign function and same way for axis 1 we plot y2 versus x and uh, title we set as cosine function and uh, we at the end we say uh, plt dot show once we say plt dot show and before that we are uh, making some customization 
so for ax in the ax is flat so we put both the labels as x axis for y x label y axis for y label both places therefore we put that in a loop and we just putting it and legend we write data and where to write it is written on the upper right part so do we want grid yes we want a grid so do we want it a tight layout yes we do write want a tight layout and then at the end we say show the plots so when this is run what we see is two plots so what is it saying so it this is one figure in this figure there are two axes and these two axes are arranged in single row there is one row two columns that means they are side by side instead if you want to plot them one below other then we should say two rows one column in that case these two functions will be printed one below one now we wanted to print one aside other so we said one row two columns and because of which we have printed two plots and uh, in both plots one plot is for sign function other plot is for cos function and we had given a legend saying that you print data for the whatever we have so here we have a curve of a blue color so blue color curve represents the data that's what we are trying to say through legend and if you see both x axis we have given a label x hyphen axis in both the cases in both the cases we have said a label y axis y axis on the first uh, plot the title says sine function second plot it says cos function y so that's all put here so here we have put that in the loop so for ax in axs dot flat so for both the cases you print x label as x axis y label as y axis and then put the legend data where to put at the upper right then because there is only one uh, set of uh, data therefore it is just written one data but if there are uh, if we wanted to plot both in the same uh, axis then our whole situation would be different instead of printing two different side by side both of them we could have printed on the same way uh, selecting one color for sine function another color for cos function and when we were uh, showing the legend it says blue color is for sine function and another one may be red color which is a cos function which is a similar cos function plot is put on the left itself that's only one we can have and then legend another red line will be shown and for blue line it says sine function for red line it says uh, cos function and all that so that's about legend so this is how we can create a plot we can create a figure we can create axis for multiple plots and all that so once uh, the activity is over make sure to close the figure so if you want to close a particular figure that means that, that particular figure is no more going to be used that particular canvas you are not going to use then we can say plt dot close which one that figure which you had open your five G, or if it is end of the game, you can close all the figures you have created in that uh, in that period. So you can just say plt dot close with no names specified, which means that all the files, all the figures opened during this execution will be automatically closed. So that's uh, some details about uh, pie plot, creating a figure, creating an axis and finally closing the figure.